part a if both the left hand limit and right hand limit of a function at a number exist then the function is continuous at that number uh, let's try to draw a graph okay x axis y axis uh, left hand limit let's say 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 left hand limit 1 2 3 for this function the left hand limit limit of this function when x approaches to 3 from left side in our design that's 1 2 3 and the right hand limit let's design when x approaches to 3 from right side uh, let's make it 3 4 5 something like this it's 5 okay the left hand limit for this function this function is y equals fx the left hand limit exists with the value 3 the right hand limit at 3 also exists with the value 5 but we clearly have a jump discontinuity so it's false Okay, we have a jump discontinuity or so in this case jump discontinuity or we can have alternatively we can make a simple graph just a straight line one two one two three two or three or any number doesn't matter okay the left hand limit at three and the right hand limit at 3 exists and the common value is 2 but we can take the function value to be any other number let's say 1 okay in this case the left left hand limit for this function when x approaches to 3 is same as right hand limit okay with common value 2 but the function value is 1 and that means this function is not continuous at 3 we have a removable discontinuity okay part b now it says of if a function is continuous at a number then it is differentiable at that number okay continuity at a number does continuity at a number imply differentiability at that number no we've seen in section 2.8 when we have a corner point uh, graph of absolute value function modify let's say this one at some point let's say 2 okay this is y equals fx the derivative of this function at 2 does not exist being a corner point that means though this function is continuous because the left hand limit left hand limit right hand limit and the function value all same this is continuous but the derivative does not exist being a corner point so again false part c if a function is discontinuous at a number then the function is undefined uh, false look at look at this example okay this is discontinuous we have jump discontinuity but the function the function value at 3 is defined to be 5 okay so or we can just draw a graph our second example of part a make a removable discontinuity one two three so this is one and let's put that there one two okay we have this is let's say y equals fx we have a removable discontinuity removable discontinuity but the function value at 2 is 3 so the function is not undefined at 3 so again false or you can use the first example as well 